All right, cool beans, I'm Hex. So the new patch finally dropped for Thrones of the Liberty. On global release, we did finally get two star dungeons. We finally got some new loot added to Sword on my island, Sanctum of Desire, Seedless Abyss, 5th and 6th floor. There are boss drop gauntlets of the Field General dropping in Sword on my island, and much, much more in other dungeons. Also, we did get some updates on skills, new specializations, and buffs, and slight nerfs for skills. So we did get two star dungeons added to the game now. We do have these. So basically, we did get a new currency called the Banshee Contract Tokens 2. These are different compared to Koreans. These are different from the one star. So basically, it costs 450 of these new tokens and you get 900 a day. So you essentially get two runs a day of the new dungeon, as well as you still get your 900 of the contract token one. So you can run three of the old dungeons and two of the new dungeons every single day. So a total of five dungeons a day now. So we do have Island of Terror, Void Waste, Valley of Slaughter, Carmine Range Island, and soon to be released, Torture Chamber of Screams. So each dungeon is categorized in basically main pieces. Island of Terror has the chest pieces, Void Waste has gloves, Valley of Slaughter has a lot of helmets, Carmine Rage Island has the boots, and the soon to be released Torture to Chamber of Screams is going to have the legs. And these are both world and dungeon boss drops. Like on this one, Island of Terror, we can have Plate of the Fuel General, Shock Commander Plate Armor, Shadow Harvester Tunic, Phantom Wolf Tunic, Ascended Guardian Raiment, and Swirling S's Robe, as well as three new drops. We do have a new belt, Forbidden Eternal Chain. Bracelet, Ascended Guardian Bracelet, and a new ring, Band of the Chosen One. Void Waste has the Gauntlets of the Field General, Shock Commander Gauntlets, Shadow Harvester Grips, Phantom Wolf Gloves, Ascended Guardian Gloves, Swirling Essence Gloves, as well as three new pieces of gear, a new necklace, Binds of the Unstoppable, there's a new cloak, Eldritch Whispers, and a new belt, Forbidden Arcane Chain. Next, we do have Valley of Slaughter. This is where the helmets drop, so we have Helm of the Field General, Shock Commander Visor, Shadow Harvester Mask, Phantom Wolf Mask, Ascendant Guardian Hood, and Swirling Essence Hat, as well as three new pieces of gear, a new bracelet, Braces of the Iron Relentling, new ring, Dark Seraph Ring, and a new necklace, Slayer's Quicksilver Pendant. And lastly, in the last dungeon we do have access to is Defeat. We do have Sabatons of the Field General, Shock Commander Sabatons, Shadow Harvester Boots, Phantom Wolf Boots, Ascendant Guardian Shoes, Swirling Essence Shoes, as well as a new cloak, Relentless Assault, a new belt, Forbidden Sacred Chain, and a new bracelet. Eternal Champion Bindings and Torture Chambers is going to have three pieces of new gear, as well as the leg pieces of like Phantom Wolf, Fuel General, Shock Commander. But we just have to wait till the 4th of December for that to be released. As well as new drops being added to three of the public dungeons we currently have. So Sorodoma Island actually has a chance of dropping the Gauntlets of the Fuel General. A very, very sought after pair of gloves. The boss, the butcher itself, and the reptilian soldiers, a common mob, has a chance of dropping in. And this is like one of the best DPS gauntlets in the game. Look at that, almost 5% attack speed and 6 perception. Very, very powerful. And if we go over here to Sanctum of the Desire, I don't remember which ones this one probably dropped. I'm not too sure. The only one that really matters is the Shadow Harvester boots do drop from here. These are a very good pair of boots. Strength 3, Perception 5, and Bind Chance. Whatever about the Bind Chance, but 8 stats on this is very nice. As well as the 2-piece. And lastly, Silius Abyss 5th and 6th floor. If we go over here, they did add the Shock Commander Sabatons and the Phantom Wolf Gloves. So if we go here to the Steel Claw Abominations, these bad boys have a chance at the Shock Commander Sabatons. A very good drop. As well as the Butchers dropping the Phantom Wolf Gloves. So very good overall. If we go over to Thrips, I'm not sure if the Ascended Guardian Gloves ever used to drop from here. Honestly, I don't quite remember. I'm pretty sure they did, but if they didn't, this is a new drop. I'm pretty sure it's not, though. Unfortunately, outside of that, there is no other drop that I know. And none of the low beef dungeons got any loot, any good loot added. Maybe some loot, like, redistribution for the lower tiers, but nothing really good from the other small ones. For the balancing, there's not really much to be said. Anything that stands out, the patch notes, I will have them linked down below if you are interested in reading them on your own. But for the main ones, there are some new specializations, a few, like, quality of life, some buffs to strike after a strike. But as the rest, the only thing that really does matter to me really is the Surreal Firebombs actually did get a huge buff. This thing now has an 80% chance to reduce the effect of receiving healing. As well as Infernal Meteor getting a huge buff. Increase the damage as well as the Hellfire Rain specialization now is more standard. It doesn't spread as much and it just concentrated damage. It does more damage to smaller targets. And the rest, there's more other things coming. But for the most part, that's what we got. 
We're also going to get inter-server conquest battles. But that's the main thing that's really out in the dungeon right now. That's mainly the main things everyone's really worried about in the new patch. There are a few other things. I will obviously link it down below if you are interested in reading those. Now let's go over to another one that I quickly want to go over. is a Tevent fragment, like, kind of, like, bug that's going around. I hope it's a bug. I hope it's unintentional. But for those that don't know, if you guys go to Ruiz of Tevrion, I don't know how to pronounce it, something runes south of Phonos Basin, south of the, where you get the resist contracts. Whenever there's events going on, you can actually go down there and Tevin will spawn around, his head will be floating around and mark enemies around him. And anytime you kill those marked enemies, you have a chance at a Tevin fragment. Now, the only problem is before all the enemies around the area would get marked. Now, there seems to be like only specifically one or two mobs get marked, which is very unfortunate. I went there and I saw that there was nobody there and I was like, oh, wow, I'm gonna get all the Tevin farms. Everyone's in the two star dungeons. And then I realized it's because they're bugged. <laughs> So that kind of unfortunate. So just for to let you know that as of right now, day one. So that's pretty much it. I'm just going to be going over my personal opinions and kind of give you an insight of the new gear that's actually being added and give my personal thoughts on that. So if we go to Island of Terror, the Swirling S's robe is actually a very, very good robe. This is actually a Queen Bellonier's robe drop. Dexterity 5, Wisdom 3, and Heavy Attack Chance 78. This is the only armor piece in the game that gives you Heavy Attack. The only other way to get Heavy Attack is from two-piece bonuses, specializations and skills and weapons only so we do have three new pieces of gear in this dungeon we do have the forbidden eternal chain belt this gives three perception and 680 max health this is a very good placeholder until you get your bloodlust belt next we do have the ascended guardian bracelet wisdom 4 max mana 630 and stun resist 77 I'm, i don't really play healer i don't really see this being too good but you know what never you know it might be a sleeper we don't know Next, Band of the Chosen One, added attack speed 4.9%, Perception 4, and Bind Chance 89. This seems like a pretty good ring. Let's see the traits. Does it have good traits? It has max health, so that's already cooking. So skill damage boost, buff duration, that's a really good ring. Not the end of the world. I mean, the other ring might be a little bit better, but, you know, a good ring if you do get it. For Void Waste, the main ones that was supposed to be sought after was Gauntlets of the Field General, but now that it's also dropped from Sword Arm Island, the prices of this has plummeted. So we do have bindies of the unstoppable. This is a new necklace. It just gives you stun, sleep, bind, and collision resistance by 81. Honestly, I don't see this being all that popular. It's just too much resist, all of too much of a jack of all trades, master and none. It does come with max L, so that's actually really good. Next, we do have the Eldric Whispers. Honestly, I could see this being the number one like crossbow build. Like this is gonna be a very popular cloak right here. Eldric Whispers added attack speed 5.8%. Bonus damage 10 and health regen almost 51, whatever. 10 bonus damage and added attack speed. This is going to be killer on the crossbow builds and the dagger builds. This is very, it's, I call in right now, it's going to be very powerful for those. As well as anything, I mean, added attack speed that much is really good. And lastly, the Forbidden Arcane Chain. This is a belt, Wisdom 5, Mana Regen 46, 45, and Silent Resistance 81. I don't see this being a very good belt at all. I, I just don't see it. And it gives you max mana. I guess it's supposed to be like a support. I don't see it to be too good. Valley of Slaughters. To be honest, nothing that stands out too much at the moment. Actually, this Ascended Guardian Hood is actually an Arc Boss drop weapon, is it not? I think it's playing Ben on ears, right? Yep. It's a really good hood. But let's go over the three new pieces of gear. So we get the new bracelet, braces of Unrelently, Strength 4, Bind Resist 99, and Collision Resist 83. I'm calling it right now. This is the one. This is going to be one of the best bracelets in the game. I'm calling it right now. I am going to change on my brawler. I'm going to change this from my primal king to this. Four strength is very powerful. Bind resist and collision resist. I feel is super slept on right now. Next, we do have a ring, dark seraph ring, wisdom four, petrification chance ninety four, and mana region fifty three point two. I don't see it being too great. All max mana. I mean, it's already killing me. Next, this is a Slayer's Quicksilver Pendant, Deck 6, and Magic Evasion 184. Honestly, this is also a really nice necklace, too. If you don't want to run the Clash of the Conqueror for whatever reason, or if you can't get your hands on the Cold Strength yet, this is a very, very good necklace as well. Really good for daggers, in my opinion. And you can put max health on it. Let's go. And lastly, Carmine Range Island. Pretty much all the same boots that we've had. Nothing really too crazy. Shadow Harvester boots do drop for me, and these boots are actually pretty nice. Strength 3, Perception 5, Bind Chance, whatever. Let's go over the new pieces of gear there. We do get a new cloak, the Relentless Assault Cloak. Range 7.5%. This is the only cloak in the game that actually gives you more range. As well as Weakened Chance 91, not bad. And Bind Chance 104. Bind Chance might actually be good because I'm telling you, 
people are starting to build more bind and collision resist trust me super slept on right now once people pick up on that i think bind chance might be a little bit better next we do have the new belt forbidden sacred chain melee evasion 190 petrification resist 77 and rage endurance 150 i don't see this belt being all that great the melee evasion is good and the range there is, is good but petrification was eh, maybe i don't see i don't know how you'd really get that much petrification and that's like only limits it to arenas really maybe maybe we can cook on it does it give max out it gives max out we can maybe cook with it and lastly eternal champion bindings hit chance 67 max cell 705 and magic endurance 140 this is a new bracelet this is a very good bracelet this is a wow this is a really good bracelet does it give max out please give max out it does give max out. Let's go. And obviously, Torture to Chambers we don't have, but I guess we're going to get the rest of the goodies that we don't have. If I had to guess, this is what we're going to get from there. This is going to be one right there. Thunderstorm Necklace, Perception 4, Cooldown 3.5, and Range Endurance 150. But all right, Cool Beans. I hope that does help out. I mean, the price of the Field General Gauntlets really dramatically dropped. It's kind of crazy. Which is good and bad, I guess. I mean, it's nice that everyone's going to start getting their good, you know, best in slot very easily. The legs are still going to be worth quite a bit of a penny. But I mean, look at that. The gauntlets of the field are literally only a thousand loose enough for the lithograph. Well, this is my server desire. Shout out to all my desire boys out there. <laughs> but all right, cool beans. That's pretty much at the end of the video. Like the video if you liked it. Comment your thoughts and experience with the new patch. Also with the video. Anything I might have missed out. What videos should we do next? Subscribe for more. But most importantly, stay Zergen.